Hello guys and welcome back to the Big Data Tutorial on Data Fanatics. So today we are going to see how to define a multi-step job and sort the values. So let's get started. The task is that we need to find the top 5 games with best global sales. Let's check out the data set we will be using. We will be using video game sales and ratings data set. We also used this data set last time. I will attach the link to this in the description. So let's check out what we have to do. Let's select the game. For example, let's select Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now we have got multiple platforms over here. And for each of these platforms, we have got global sales. We actually want to calculate the sum of all the global sales for each game. So that means for Need for Speed Most Wanted, we want to sum all these global sales. And then we want to select the top five games with the best global sales. So this is our problem statement. Let's start coding. Okay, I have already defined the class and the function names. So first let's check out the logic for each function. And then in the end, we will see how to tell MR job that it's a multi-step job. Okay, so first of all, we will be mapping games. That means selecting the game name and the global sale. Next, we will reduce the sales. That means we will add all the sales for each game. Okay. And then finally, we will sort these values in the last function and select the top five ones. So let's start coding. So just like last time, first of all, we will split the lines and store it into a temporary variable. Okay. So let's say details is equal to lines dot split and split by a comma since it's a comma separated file csv file next we want to yield okay now we want to yield the game name and the global sales let's check out the index values for them okay the index value for the name of the game is zero and for global sale is zero one three four five six seven eight nine okay so the index values are zero and nine so let's do it yield details zero comma details nine okay here we go we have got a key the name of the game and the sale that's the value now we want to reduce these sales okay so usually what we used to do was yield key and sum for the values right but now since we want to sort these values we will have to make some changes. So like last time when we made a pair, this time we also need to make a pair. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so what I have done over here is that I have made a pair of this value and key and selected the sum of values as the first parameter because we want to sort the values on basis of this parameter and not key. That's why I have selected the values as the first parameter and I have selected key as none. Now what happens is that there is no key. None means that there is no key right now. So it passes all these sum values and key pairs together. So that helps us in sorting. Now for sorting, we will be using a function called sorted. Okay. So let's say we take a variable called sorted pairs and sort it. Now we need to pass the parameter which we want to sort and it's the pair right here. We can see it's pair pair and uh, but it actually sorts the values in ascending order and we want it in the descending order, right? Because we want to select the best sales, the top sales. So we have got a parameter called reverse by default. It's false and we will set it to true. So here we go. This is complete. Now we want to select the top five sorted pairs. For that, we will simply say for pair in sorted pairs and here zero to five. That means only the first five pairs will be selected and simply yield those pair. Here we go. Okay, so the logic for our functions is complete. Now. This is a multi-step job, but we need to tell Python, uh, we need to tell MR job that it's a multi-step job. So let's see how to do that. 
first we need to import a library so from mr job dot step import mr step okay and now simply we have to define a function over here called def steps okay and it takes a simple a single parameter called self here we go in this function we simply return the different steps okay so let's see how we do that return and we start a square bracket now remember this is case sensitive so mr step then a bracket and in this bracket now we will tell the mapper and reducer for this step okay so let's do it mapper is equal to self dot mapping games we add the name that's the mapping games over here and self tells that this function is from this class and not from outside this class so just to be on the safer side we mention this and for reducer we say self dot reduce sales okay this step is complete now this second reducer we we have to select the top 5 games will come under next step and how to do that simply add a comma after the bracket end and again mr step so this is how we tell the pattern that this is a next step if you have like three reducers then you add three mr step jobs just like this after comma after comma and the mr job will know that it's a multi step job so here we don't have a mapper simply a reducer so we will just write reducer is equal to self dot select underscore top five so here we go this is complete let's save it and run it okay so let's run it okay so we are getting an error the error is in the value pairs so it's thinking that it's a string and how can we sum these values so simple just like last time when we told the python that it's a float so simply when we are mapping these values we will tell that the sales it's actually a float value otherwise over here in pairs it will think that it's a string so let's save it and run it again um here we go so we have got the result these are the best sales the best games so that's all for today guys i hope you like this video see you in the next lecture